Welcome to Ascent. My name is Martin Fordham, and today I'd like to introduce you to our latest product. This is LightSyn Lighthouse. And what is it? What does it do? Well, the term light might give it away as a photoreactor. It's using some novel ideas we came up with a few years ago, um, a little bit of history to that development and how we got here, please watch the video above. But anyway, let's get on with the product as it is. These are available now and uh, let's have a look. So basically it consists of a reactor tube, in this case, in this configuration, and inside you can see there's a quartz rod with a section at the bottom that's ground to allow the light to exit. We have a very high power LED here, 10 watt LED, with a color choice available to you. So anywhere from 365 nanometers up to 600 nanometers, popular being 365 and 450. We have a gas tight seal in here, uh, inert atmosphere control from the side. We also have two optional or two ports that you can optionally use as you wish. For instance, one could be made, used to make additions. The other with a dip tube could be used to take samples during operation. It simply drops into this holder on top of a magnetic hot plate stirrer. This shields the user from any harmful light and has a micro switch to stop operation if you try and remove it. To turn the unit on, you simply plug in to our 24 volt, 90 watt power supply. Uh, you can probably hear the fan starting Keeping the electronics cool is critical to the longevity of the LEDs. Here we have a small filter window to allow you to see it's in operation. If we try and remove it whilst it's in operation, the light turns off immediately, but the fan keeps running, keeping the electronics cool. One of the things we wanted to do from day one of launch was to make it optionally as a parallel reactor. So let's have a look at that. There we are. I put in a regular retort rod and boss head to support the wires. Uh, in this case, because we're going to use a, as you can see here, a three-way splitter connected to the standard power supply. So I'm just going to hang that over there and plug it in. So I've now set up a three-position version of Lighthouse. Basically identical modules fitted onto this simple base that allows you to do three at a time within a very small area on a standard magnetic stirring hot plate. Other parallel options are available. Bigger versions of this, quite simple. Let us know if you'd like that. However, Lighthouse will allow for a wider range of operation. Let me tell you more. A couple of other options and where Lighthouse will be able to help you in the future. The tube we use has a standard GL thread. We can make this different diameters. And the quartz rod, the light rod itself, can be made to almost any length you wish. So by changing the vessel on here, we can have smaller diameters, bigger diameters, or even a round bottom flask adapter. Um, the rod itself can be a length of your choice or for your reactor vessel. Um, so, for instance, there are many parallel reactors out there that use a 24 millimeter diameter tube. Slightly longer than this, not a problem. If we know the length it needs to be, then we can manufacture Lighthouse to fit your current parallel reactor system. Scaling up, coming soon, round bottom flasks. Let us know what you're looking for. Um, this is going to be under constant development. This is the first of what I hope will be a range of Lighthouse units to cover all types of small-scale chemistry and uh, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks very much for watching today and we'll see you here at the Synth very soon. Bye-bye.